Hey friends, in this video I'm going to give you guys a tour of our kids play area. Um, this is a loft area that is right upstairs, um, right next to the kids bedrooms and so I just wanted to share with you guys what we did to this loft space and right behind me is our family room that then uh, goes to the kids bedroom. We have a two story room and so um, we've got this little loft area and it used to be like my craft space. We turned it into a playroom area because um, I was kind of sick of having our play space downstairs. Uh, I actually have an office now downstairs. I actually moved my office from up here to downstairs just because my typing was so loud at night that it woke up the kids. So now um, their playroom is in this space and my office is downstairs. But I absolutely loved how this turned out. Again, we transformed this from my craft room office to a playroom. I actually love this space for them because it has a table for the arts and crafts, it has toy storage, um, it's not the cleanest and minimalist um, if you guys are into that type of thing. I am more or less wanting a space where they can actually hide their toys or play and then I'm not having to worry about cleaning up all the time. And so this area is kind of uh, out of sight, out of mind. Obviously when they're walking out of their bedrooms they could probably see the mess. But this space is really great just for them to be able to do artwork. Um, I got a lot of the things that you're seeing in the space from Ikea. So all of the different tabletops, the cabinetry, um, except for the face of the cabinets, um, as well as the bookshelves that you're going to see, they were all from Ikea and um, it's pretty inexpensive. And the floor is made from Air.O, I believe. And it's also resistant to a lot of stains. Granted, uh, it does stain, but it has less stains because of how resistant it is to like uh, moisture and liquids. So I'm going to give you a tour of the space just so that you guys have an idea of um, what it looks like. I know the older kids like to come home and do their homework on the kitchen island while they're eating lunch, um, which is fine. Uh, but this space is for them to kind of spread out if they need to, you know, spread out homework or do some crafts. And obviously my kids love coloring, so this table is a hot mess. This tabletop is under $30, so whether or not they color over it, that's fine because I'll probably throw it away. Um, but needless to say, it's like upstairs in the loft area where no one can see. So I wanted the space to be functional for the kids as well as uh, enable them to be free and do the things that they need to do and then not have me freak out because it's so dirty. Uh, again, it's hidden out of sight, out of mind. So I'm going to show you exactly around my space. All right, so when my daughter was about one to two, she loved to color. And so we had this small little Ikea slack table. I think it's called slack. And uh, she is able to have like arts and crafts on it while her uh, older siblings are up here. So when she was two, she loved to color. And so I needed a space for her to color separate from her sibling. She just couldn't handle the swivel chairs. And so this was a great spot for her uh, to be able to do that. I could probably put more cabinetry here, but I just felt like the space was great. And now it's turned into more of a, hey, go get your... This space has turned more into a uh, place to hold all of the different arts and crafts. Um, I also have other storage as well, but this is uh, this allows her to kind of color and be able to reach stuff that she needs to. This is a shelving area and this is how we have it organized. Again, it's super messy, but this room, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this over and over, but this room is like upstairs where no one can see. There's no windows here. There's a family room on the side. And again, the kids' bedrooms are above here. So this is uh, our space for uh, their playroom. These are the Billy bookcases, and we actually have four of them across. And so what I wanted to do was be able to have shelving where they can see their toys so that they can play with them. Obviously, it's like a hot mess visually, but it allows our kids to at least use the toys that we bought for them. Because what is the purpose of having toys if you're just going to have them stored away, right? So that was my at least intention of it, be able to see all the toys. And so uh, there's no uh, rhyme or reason on why things are organized the way they are. Like the third shelf over there is probably for books. And then anything over here is like for the kids to play with. We've got like these magnet tiles that they love. And one of my favorite storage systems in here is this guy. I actually found these at Menards uh, initially and um, they, they had like the monkey and the hippo. And then when I went online, I found that there's a huge entire um, line of these little animal like storage devices. I'll go ahead and link to these because these are absolutely cute. The one thing that I will tell you is that there's a plastic thing inside of it that comes out. So obviously this is an animal, right? And so you've got, uh, you're able to kind of put the toys in here, but there's this plastic thing. And sometimes it's annoying because, um, you know, the, the toys will fall out when they're carrying it, but they're super cute. I mean, I mean, if you're putting like little toys in there, like balls or something, um, they're able to kind of go in and grab the toys, but it's not that big of a deal, but it's really cute in this play space. Um, and I have like a shark 
So I'm looking right behind. I've got the hippo, the monkey, the shark, and the frog. And I think they have a huge lineup of like unicorns and all that as well. All right, on this wall here, um, we haven't done a lot of things to the wall because I've been trying not to make so many holes on the wall. But we've got some of these little wire cabinets that you probably find at Home Depot or Lowe's that holds a lot of things that I want to be out of reach from them. So I've got little beads here that we use. Um, again, these things are actually from Ikea, just so you know. Um, we've got paintbrushes up here. And then I've got little holes that I had before in our office. I had holes in the wall uh, with my office before, so these are things that you know, I'm just randomly hanging up. So there's no rhyme or reason why they, this art is where it's at. We also have these little um, file cabinets up here, but this is just for my stuff and not necessarily the kids stuff. And then I also have like these little trays here and uh, word to the wise, this actually tips. So just make sure your kids are old enough to understand that this thing tips if you are leaning up against it. So just FYI, uh, overall these are again, the these are again the Billy uh, bookcases, and the Billy bookcases come in various sizes. Um, so mine, it, it took four of them to go across this wall. So just a heads up, and I'll link to the dimensions as well as the ex exact ones I got in the link below. Uh, big tip is that we actually uh, put screws in between each of these uh, before. When the kids were super little, um, we actually had these bookcases kind of screwed in together to avoid them from tipping. So uh, make sure that if you have kids and you have these Billy bookcases, make sure that you attach these bookshelves to the wall so that they don't tip over on the kids. On that side, we hold all of our paint and that allows it to be out of reach from the kids, but also visually appealing because it has like that rainbow color effect and makes it feel like a kid's room. So that's where all of our paint is. The base of these cabinets are from Ikea. Um, they're they are the Sectium cabinets, and um, we actually bought these, and I think they were like under $150 for the base. Because I'm a crafter, I need a lot of storage space, and so this is what the storage is. It's honestly all my crafting stuff, not necessarily kid stuff, but um, it allows me to have extra storage upstairs, um, but also in a great looking space. What we actually did was create custom doors for this, because I think when we looked at the custom doors, they were about $50 per door, and we didn't want to spend that amount of money. But the... Um, Sectian base, like cabinet, I don't know what it's called, but the frame or whatever the shelf is, uh, they were pretty inexpensive compared to like going to a big box uh, home improvement store, but they're pretty amazing. And also we bought the hardware from there as well. And the hardware was actually top notch from Ikea. Um, but overall we have a ton of them, including a corner one and a tall one on the left that we absolutely love. And so we actually uh, got some pine wood and got some wainscoting and put uh, these doors together. Um, my husband has a router and like a table saw, so we were able to kind of uh, put the, he was able to put this together um, and create doors for pretty inexpensively actually. But this, that's what these cabinets are. Again, Ikea Sectian cabinets. And then uh, we also bought the this storage as well from the kitchen area of Ikea. And this allows them to house all the different um, markers, pens, um, scissors, and all of that on the wall itself. And I'll be honest, like there are fingerprints everywhere. Uh, we painted this room with an eggshell paint color. So word to the wise, I mean, a playroom is going to have fingertips. A playroom is going to have fingerprints everywhere, at least for my house it is. In this space, I have all the home living stuff, which includes the kitchen, the food, um, and also some Legos that uh, they play with in here. And they also have toys in their space as well. But this is the area where like, we have a bunch of different storage. We, I got this shelf also from Ikea uh, to fit this corner just to store more toys. Um, so you can see that I have lots of containers for this space, but I try to make them clear because if I put in, in non-clear ones, like we have no idea what's in here unless like we look over and then the kids tend to not play with things that are inside these baskets that you can't see through. So um, just a tip, but that might be a good thing if you're trying to hide the toys from the kids. So that's um, basically the space here. And then I have also these little kitchen things as well um, on this wall. And obviously they're not used. So we have a ton of storage and it just gives uh, the kids the options to, I guess, keep their toys organized because if we have a lot of containers here, they're more likely to put them in the containers. And it's easier for me to just pick up really quickly uh, right before I go to work. So 
that's just something that we do. So now uh, let's talk about the table. So the table is actually two IKEA uh, tables kind of put together. So we have two of the really large uh, Linmon tables put together up here with legs down on the bottom uh, from IKEA. And this is actually um, a cutout uh, that we did for this table. And I bought these off of Amazon. So both of my older girls have Chromebooks that they work off of uh, for virtual schooling. And so what I wanted to do was kind of have the cords kind of threaded through a uh, hole system. And we were able to drill a two inch hole through these Linmon tables. I have a video on that if you guys to check it out to see what the table looks like it's not it has this internal like honeycomb system and so i just want you guys to be aware of how you should cut a linmon table but we bought these off of amazon so the girls just feed it through and then plug it in uh, down at the bottom but these are two of the large linmon tables and we absolutely love it obviously it's used i mean the kids have glue on it there's markers and all that but it fits the purpose right the goal is to have the kids be able to spread out do their artwork and me not having to worry about them getting anything on my really nice tables downstairs and so this is what that space is i got four chairs from ikea uh two that were the padded version and then the other two that have uh plastic holes in them and i would recommend getting the padded versions better uh, at the time they only had purple um, i'm pretty sure they have other colors too don't quote me on that um, but the other ones like the kids rarely use so just a heads up on what's used and what's not at least in my family of uh, four kids all in the age of nine these chairs are like these chairs are swivel and they are height adjustable but that's pretty much it again fifty dollars per chair uh, it's not bad and um obviously like that one is like marked on and so um i don't know it's a kid's playroom i don't i don't even know what to say i i would love to say that this room is I would love to say that this room is spotless. It's not. Um, this is real life and how we have it organized. Normally in any other space, I would try to hide the trash bin, but the trash bin is in full view so that they know where the trash is so that they can throw stuff away and the trash is really colorful so they can find the trash. And so that was my thought process of where to hide the trash can. I don't hide it. I make sure that it's visible so that the kids know that trash belongs in the trash. I also have this monitor up here. Um, I know my kids get like Chromebooks at school and they're really small. Um, and so what I have is a monitor here where they can attach their Chromebook. It is not a television. It is a purely a monitor to extend their Chromebooks. Um, I also have a stand for them as well if they wanted to use that stand, but they hardly use that. So it really it's an extra monitor that we had around the house and I figured that I put it in this space. All right, so for this monitor, I mean, it swivels and then it also comes out like this and then it kind of pushes back just like that. Okay, and this one actually attaches to the table as you can see here. It attaches to the table. I actually had one that was mounted before and um, let's just say that I didn't like it as much and so uh, that is why this is here right now. And then also I have a sharpener for them so that they're not always asking uh, to sharpen a pencil. So I've just got that hidden uh, for the older kids right here and I have a Kleenex box on this table. But generally um, what I do is I try to have this space as clear as possible except for their colors that I try to put in the middle. So to attach these tables, we actually have wood that's connecting them so that they don't like separate because obviously if kids are like coloring and stuff, the tables are bound to separate and then everything falls to the middle. And so we have uh, some wood that we kind of just screwed in uh, pretty roughly uh, to make sure that the table's attached. So I also want to display my kids' artwork in full view whenever they complete it. I have a lot of their masterpieces up above. So if it's like a, a figurine or something that's big that can sit on a cabinet, I'll put it, put it up there. It looks cluttered, I get it. Again, it's a kid's space, and so so that's how I display kids' artwork. I also have different areas of the wall as well. I'm planning on getting some like gluey, sticky things to put on the wall, but I'm afraid it's gonna stain the wall, so I will let you guys know what I choose to do, because I have a space where I just wanna be able to put their artwork whenever they finish it, because they're finishing artwork all the time. I'm gonna show you something crazy. Most of you guys aren't like me, but I just wanna show you guys what I do with my kids' artworks when, like, let's say the year is over. So in this cabinet right here, I have all of their artwork by grade, and I keep the most important ones as well. So I've got, this is kind of messy here, but I've got books, okay? I have books with um, binders with pictures of them on here, and it's pretty rough, and I have um, their name, their grade, and then what years, okay? And then I also have their picture on here. So any school pictures that they take, I try to put in front here uh, just so I can remember how little they were back then. And 
I don't know what I'm going to do in the future with them when they grow up. I don't know if they want them. But, you know, it's just for posterity's sake and I can look through it. But then I'll just put their stuff just like this. And it's really fun right now when the kids are a little bit older. So when they were, uh, let's say, one and I did this and now they're like five, they love flipping through this book. So it's pretty fun just to see how far they've come. Um, and really, I'm just like putting holes in them and just putting them in here. And like school will create things like this. And so I'll go ahead and um, just add it in here and just, um, I think one of these days, but these are the books that I have for each kid and for each grade. And I have uh, a basement as well um, so that if this gets too crazy, then I'll just move it downstairs. I know it sounds really insane and I'm probably crazy, but that's what I do. I try not to throw away stuff because I feel sad whenever I throw away things that they've worked hard on, um, like these little footprints. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but but these are things that I kind of cherish and I absolutely love. So that is what I have in this cabinet right here. Again, these are the IKEA Sektion kitchen cabinets. Um, and then this is the really tall cabinets, and I think it's the Sektion as well, but I'm, don't quote me on that. Um, this is what I have in this shelf here. So I've got. All of their like little books that um, their grandparents have created for them. Like for example, these are things I really don't want them to touch. But the grandparents create like books with their names on it, and so I don't want them tearing it up and uh, putting it down there. But these are really uh, precious books that I try to keep at least here um, out of view for them. And then I also have my scrapbooks. Again, I'm a crafter. Uh, I have my scrapbooks there and there, and a typewriter from back in the day. And then I also have. A bunch of fabric down below and you can get all sorts of different uh, combinations of things and stores that you want and so I love this slide out right here um, and this is like the slide out for all the fabrics that I have I have fabrics that date back like 20 years so that is um, basically what I have in this space and these cabinets really store all of my crafting things that I don't want in my office where I work my corporate nine to five uh, job every day. So all of this stuff hides all the crafting stuff that I don't want to be seen in my Zoom calls. These cabinets have been amazing. Uh, we did do it in a flat white because I didn't want them shiny, but I will tell you that I would do it shiny in a heartbeat um, if I had to do it over because I have little handprints everywhere that I don't think will come off with uh, wash rags and I haven't tried uh, but I would recommend doing this in like a semi-gloss or even um, an eggshell paint color. I could probably take these uh, off again and then repaint them but just a heads up if you guys do decide to create your own doors here um, I would recommend getting semi-gloss or a flat white paint. So there you have it. That is our play space for our kids. Again, it's in a loft area that I absolutely adore. It is able to hide everything from view when someone comes into our home, but it also allows the kids to still play with the toys. What I love about the space is that um, there's storage. Instead of having things in big piles of like toys where they can't find things, uh, we have a ton of different storage options for them to put the toys where they should belong and where they uh, have a home. I hope you guys liked that tour of our space. I absolutely love it, at least for our family. I know it's super messy, but this is how we have it organized so that we can do the things that we need to do, which is spend time as a family, um, coloring, and being able to have space for everyone, and also being able to at least have things where I can put them away if I need to. And um, my kids like it. I know that every time I come up here, it's a hot mess after I clean it up, which means that they love using the space. So if you guys have any questions on the cabinetry or the storage or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment or a question in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help. I plan on doing more home organization tips and tricks on this channel as well, including a video potentially on more details on these cabinets right here that we have, how we created them and what we use. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe um, and click on the bell to get notifications the next time I create new videos. Thanks guys, take care.